YT stands for Yes, Boss Bass so back in the video, and today I'll be showing off my collection of my Sonic screwdrivers for 2019. I did one last year um, to show you that my collection had been growing recent, at that point, but recently it hasn't been. But I like to show off again my screwdrivers just because why not? And plus, um, there's going to be a few little. Um, Customs in well, I say customs like like modifications. So I thought I'll might as well just do that. Um, I will try my best to go in order by the screwdrivers I got first, or I'll just go in a random order. Um, but I will go in the order that I got them. But if you know what I mean. So this was the first screwdriver I got given from a good friend of mine back in Kingswood. His name was. Ben, this battery there, um, Ben Nibbler, I've, I think it is, I can't remember, but he gave me this, um, usually it did have a lot more paint on there, but it eventually it kept rubbing out, so, plus these, now sometimes it's not usually working properly because the batteries keep sliding backwards, um, but I want to repaint it, so, this is what the 8th and 7th Doctor screwdriver um, used by Paul McGann and Sylvester McCoy in the TV movie. This bit is usually telescopic but not on the toy because it's plastic. So this bit had come off and I've had, I've had to glue it but it stayed there over its years. And yeah, it's actually got a different screw in there because the original screw got rounded off. But yeah, so looking at the body shape it's the normal classic shape and um, you could actually hold down this button here and instead of you know activating it like that I'm actually going to get something to actually raise this thing up because I cannot even get my whole hand in there just gonna try my best there we go that's better so I'm going to press this And that was the original sound chip for this, in fact using the 11th Doctor sound chip. You can't even see it standing up. But this was, um, now usually the lines are about for about 15 quid. I don't know about American dollars and stuff like that. But however, these are um, pretty good. Um, I think I might have to get a replacement at some point. And if I can toast my dad's arm to get the one. Well, I buy myself one. Um, I swear to that. Got this afterwards. In fact, I got this before. I just realised this came in the general of the impossible things set, and I lost the screwdriver. Um, when I was back in my old bedroom, I misplaced where it was, and some odd reason it somehow fell into the mechanism of the filing cabinet. And that's where I kept on most of my stuff. And I thought I got rid of it. Well, I thought I lost it and stuff like that. And um, I thought I got rid of it because I was having a clean out at one point. And um, I was panicking. And this is, yeah, kind of bit bit worn out and stuff. It has been um, modified because this is the one that came, the, re the re-release of the set, where it came with no pen and plus it was just a flashlight. So what I did is I darkened it up because one one part was darker than the other part, so I darkened that up. The bottom here, I added my own pen. If I, can, I just literally shoved a a pen in there. That was previous glued. I got a pen, uh, a white ball pen, went all over it, and I remember like waving it in my finger, and then I went over with some glue so that it had some like effects. And after like a few years, it still it still works, but it's pretty good. And um, I've even did it to the LEDs, so it'll actually diffuse it a bit. But it didn't actually work. But it was actually light it up. Jesus. <laughs> but yeah, I'd use this sometimes. 
you know, to see in the night when I'm trying to look for something. You can even see where I missed on the pin, just about. But yeah, this just reminds me of the 11th hour one because of the way it's being used. <laughs> Prisoner Zero has escaped. Um, then I'm going to move on to my other custom. This was my first official um, 12th Doctor Sonic screwdriver. This is the was the touch control Sonic, and um, within a month, um, it stopped working. The sound stopped working, and after that, the light stopped working. I used it a lot. I used it all the time. I never let it out of my own sight. I always took it with me every day, and um, one day I found that the sound stopped working. Tried doing the um, the little battery trick where you stick an anvil battery on the contacts of the other batteries to actually boost the signal um, which did work and then stopped for a while well it stopped and then when flicking open the light stopped automatically um, basically what was wrong with it now the wires are so thin in it well the wires were so thin I, they're not even in there now because I've took them out but it was so thin that, like, it was about this thin. That's how thin it was. Yeah, the speaker. <laughs> um, so, what I did is I, I had it in bits, modified it several times to make it flickable. Because this is not the previous button, this is actually from the other screwdriver. And at one point it would just extend, and then I accidentally, when I flicked it at one point, I accidentally cracked it. Meaning, this sellotape here is holding what's is holding the slap section onto the emitter section. <laughs> just using tape and some glue and blue tack. There was a piece of green plastic for, um, that Mr. Denton cut out for me from DT. Um, I think he still works there now at school, um, Kingswood. Um, but... I used to take this every day to them and see if I can get any repairs done on it. But this had a felt tip pen in the emitter core at one point and then it kept getting dislodged. Then the amount of times I broke it, um, the amount of times I stuck in it, some screws in it, different screws, you can tell here that there's like different holes and everything because the amount of times I did it. And now it's only to the point where it's brittle but um, after seeing a um, glimpse of the episode where Davros had the screwdriver I didn't actually see the episode and I'm so and I so want to see the episode I literally got my screwdriver done it up a bit to make it look like Davros has used it and disposed of it uh, it's not 100% I don't want to end up putting crack you know like cracks in the handle because I like it as it is I did the um, whiteboard pen trick here as well, and I stuck some glue over it to make it a bit textured. This I've just scraped as well. It does flick. It did used to work. This is actually um, scratched over to make it look um, really, you know, damp. But it still does do its job. In fact, this has been done up as well to make it look like it's been burnt out. But Grand has an old man has one. No, um, but he's missing the bottom section. He went from a charity shop, lucky. <laughs> um, which he it is in a playlist called um, Grandma's and Old Man's Doctor Who videos. Go check that out. It's in my channel. Because um, I'm nice. Um, next of all, I got I think it was the tenth Doctor screwdriver, um, which is this. Now, back in when I was about five years old, I had about several of these, and I had the Knife Doctor one as well, like, a couple of years ago, and that did not last long. In fact, it, it I didn't use it that much, because it was obviously a different colour handle, but um, it was just a prize possession. This is a prize possession, because it's one of my favourite screwdrivers. 
but I'm actually liking these screwdrivers more often actually. I, I still use it but not as much because again of the um obviously the knowing that these two buttons would eventually break which is one of the worst nightmares for me and I remember going out one day playing out uh, when I was about 11 years old I brought that out with me I brought my River Song screwdriver out with me and some stupid idiot grabbed them and put them down the drain and I was absolutely gutted and here comes my sister, she's on. And I was so upset, I wanted to have revenge. <laughs> Still haven't. Um, but I'm just, it's making me think about that day is pretty sad, because it's, it's like losing your best friend. But this is the, the one I've had the long... This is actually the longest one I've had, if you believe it or not, because usually within like a few weeks, they usually break on me, because when used when I used to flick them about um, and use it like David Tennant used to do with his prop the emitter head came from the ball section which was pretty sad but at one point I remember getting it glued in fact I remember taking my um, broken one with me at school at one point in drama in year 7 um, where it's been glued the emitter being glued back together and just using a single screw and there was no base there and the teacher was meant to look after it and for some reason it went dis walkabout so yeah I don't want anything bad to happen to this one because it's my favourite screwdriver and plus it'll be the, the last one I'll be getting but it still works in fact it's still got the original batteries in <laughs> um, got this a couple of years ago now so I dropped it a couple of times but it's still with me so the sound effects are different to the previous versions, um, so you have the... When you extend it... And another thing, it, I had to press harder on the top because um, I don't know why, but this has the UV, I don't know if this still works, I think it does. So I'm just going to make that a bit bigger. Like in the naked eye you can see it when it's wet. <laughs> like when it's moist. There you go. And then you can just switch out this. I did a review on this as well. And you just twist it. Well that still works. I don't rarely use the pens, but I like to use them now and again for writing my passwords and stuff. Especially UV. So, yeah. And I noticed that one side is darker than the other, which is pretty rare for a screwdriver. Um, I remember waiting all day for this screwdriver as well, like a couple of years ago. 2017 I got this, like, just, be just after um, Christmas. Or was it just before Christmas? I can't remember. It was near Christmas time. Mm. Don't you dare run away, doll. Doll? Is that even a word? Uh, my next screwdriver is the 12th Doctor's. Actually, that was a lie. That was a screwdriver before that one. Never mind. Um, this is the battered version. In fact, I did my first re Doctor Who Sonic screwdriver review was this in my first vlog of my channel it's pretty dusty um but this had came in parts and i remember saying i wanted to turn it into a torch i did at one point and it didn't work um tried to turn it into a red setting version didn't work in fact this is technically not in the right place it's actually frictioned on as well um in fact this is still removable because i'm put screws in I I've took this apart last year and I still haven't put it back together, but you can see where I've um, like even these are the real screws as well. These are just different ones, but yeah. It, I I didn't know how it's meant to be removable, but I end up cutting things down, trying to push it in. It was a nightmare. It's pretty dusty. 
but when I see when um, apparently the twelve doctor um had a magnetic pulse on his screwdriver and dislodged to a robot and bent somehow and I'm waiting until same Sonic different case it does that project so I can copy it if I needed to. Um, but this is my first 12 Doctor's second screwdriver, which I used right, as to put my memory card in there, you know, for my phone. Speaking of phone, I'm getting a new one next week. <laughs> um, and, yeah. 720's got a version out, though, um, which I want to get my hands on, which is a lot cheaper than the character version. Um, I, th I, I really want to get my hands on it. But it's just people, you know, telling me I can't. But I will do eventually, that is a promise. I will eventually get the 720 version. Because I've only just seen it on Amazon every day. So, yeah. Um, so I might as well just stick with the same screwdriver. Even though I got this. Well, in fact, I did get this um, straight after. Um, this is the one with the sound. Well, it does work. But the sound's not working no more because... The chase mode, after using the chase mode, the sound effect does best out the um, the speaker. And I've over shortened the um, wires to extend the speaker. So that was a no-go. So it's just a torch at the minute. And it will be a torch. And when I hopefully get a new one to replace it, um, it won't be destroyed or anything. It will be left as it is. Um, I did do the switch mod as the same Sonic different case did, which I tried to do previously on the first one, but I got it so wrong. Um, in fact, what I did, this is actually the original one to that one, and that one is on the original one to this one. So instead of me just wasting my own time, I just switched it around to my modified switch, and I just stuck it on that one. Um, you could, I suppose you could stick blue tack in, but it'll mess up your switch. But you can actually just do it hands-free. Blue mode, and that would just do the. That's the same sound effect as the other doctor, just two new sound effects, but unfortunately I cannot play it because my screwdriver is a bit dodgy. <laughs> this just keeps coming off, but I can't really do that because I tried fat cutting it down a bit so it'll actually stay in place. But I'd, I rarely use it because. And no, uh, I don't like a screwdriver without no sound. That's just me. I like to have Sonic. It's not. It's not a Sonic. It's a screwdriver that makes a buzzing now. A a, a buzzing noise that goes buzz. So yeah, right. Moving on to my overgrown collection of twelve Doctor screwdrivers now, um, which I've got about one, two, three. Four, five, six, but I've reviewed three of them already. I got two of these from B and M at one point. Um, in back in twenty end of twenty seventeen, at like Christmas time, anyways, and they were about six quid each. Uh, usually on Amazon, they're about sixteen or fifteen or twenty five quid. But these were the last two up at that point, and. I'm glad I've got them. This one, in fact, is the one that I haven't used, really. Um, because it's you can tell the handle's still in mint condition. And plus, this hinge section has been used slightly. But the, the batteries are still pretty new. Right. This one um, is my modified battered version. I'll get to that in a minute. But basically, um, this is my... I did a review where I had two of these and I unboxed them both. And, yeah. But anyways, sound effects. And um, you could actually extend it like that. Which is really weird when you're just getting used to flicking your screwdriver and then you use this button section to actually... So yeah, and yeah, it's pretty good. But if I just find it weird when the claws are a lot open on this one than it is on my modified one because 
of my progress. So speaking of modified screwdriver, um, little short story, uh, short story. I dropped this at one point and the extension button had broke and it was still in full open mode. So for a bit I switched the emitters because I wanted to use the batteries up in this one first. And it, meanwhile I was thinking of a way how to like get this one back to its original form. So I tried to think of how to get rid of the copper ring section and I looked at Vert Saxon 7's video of his modified screwdrivers over the years and I basically copied him and I did the same to the bottom but it didn't really result as much so I didn't want to have the broken screwdriver so then I basically got the button, the extending button from the touch control one swapped it around and I thought I've lost a spring for the back of it so what I did is actually I reversed it so it would pressure fit because it's you can actually pressure fit it and I did it so far back and then glued it in place to actually do its job so it'll keep its emitter closed in um, it's actually been upgraded a lot lately as well this used to be glued shut at one point and there used to be a point where I had a piece of metal going down here and pressing the same button would activate it in the same position in the open mode but again that didn't work um, in a few weeks so I've basically put it back to its original semi-original and I've basically done it so there's pressure on the red assembly so when it's extended I can just push the red button in and just squeeze the